In this video, we'll review how to simulate a tube and tube heated exchanger. To begin, start with the new coil wizard and select tube and tube heat exchanger. Indicate the number of segments to be used for heat exchanger analysis. The default is 25. The more segments you select, the more accurate but time intensive the analysis. Next, indicate whether the heat exchanger is in counter or parallel flow. Specify the inner tube geometry. Note that if the tube is fluted, additional details will be required. Outer tube parameters and the port type must also be entered. Annular outer tube is for annular flow passage or single flow channel. The channeled outer tube with geometry allows for complex flow passage and multiple channels. Select the working fluids for both the inner and outer tubes. Note that the same refrigerant options are available for this heat exchanger type as for the others. This includes the ability to specify your own fluid or build your own mixture. Select the appropriate correlations for your design. Note that if you have fluted tubes, correlations for such configurations are specifically noted using the cor uh, correlation names. Once the wizard is complete, the user interface displays a simple tube and tube geometry. To review inputs made in the new coil wizard, or to make changes, go to Edit Parameters. In the bottom right, make sure the inner and outer tube inlet parameters are appropriate. With all parameters specified, you can now run the coil. Note that the simulation time for tube and tube heat exchangers is a little longer than that for other heat exchangers due to the iterative nature of the solver. The first page of the results displays the heat load, charge, pressure drop, inlet and outlet conditions, heat transfer coefficients, and refrigerant phase distribution for the heat exchanger. Additional results allow the user to view the temperature, pressure, quality, and heat transfer coefficient for each segment. Results can be transposed depending on preference. Finally, the contour plots visually show the values reported for each segment.